check that out guys that is freaking cool that right there the guy just told me they're developing it's not even out on the market yet it's called a hydrofoil it's basically like a little board that you stand on and it can reach speeds up to 30 miles an hour and it was run off of a I think you said a 30 uh, 30 amp um, battery the motor super super small sort of like the trolling motor almost and it just rides on the bottom of the board and it's controlled by a control that's in his hand that's Bluetooth and these aren't even out yet. This guy here is doing the uh, research and development on it. He did a lot of the software. That Ooh. is cool. That is cool. <laughs> so I'm, I'm what did like you just have that at? What that power was, level? That, that was nine. At nine? Yeah. And you weigh 175? Plus, like the battery and stuff weighs, how much does that weigh? 35. 35, so you're right around 200 pound range. Yeah, it's a, it's a big boy. That is definitely cool, it's man. You really cruise around on that, and it cut right through the waves pretty good, it so yeah, your aerodynamics that you did on it were, were great. Really doing the job. Four years of college, not wasted. Yeah. It's much nicer with the, so with this one, if I come six inches out, the propeller will reach. Like I can only, I can only come up to here before it starts chugging. And then I'll, then I'll, then I'll lose my power. But so this is what the motor looks like. Yep. So it's called the hydrofoil, right? It is. That is pretty cool. And this is your motor that's that right. drives it. And that's your planer board, right? There is. Up. My wings. Your wings. That is super cool. And then you control Bluetooth with the remote. That's it. It's it just GPS dongles on your wrist in case you happen to bite it. It's in case. And it's it's a, it's, so that floats, obviously, if it, it comes does. off you, yeah. right? Sure does. And what do you think something like that would go for in, in the market when it's available? Um, we're, we're six grand at the moment for the cheapest model. If you want fiberglass, if you want extended range, if you want like the all carbon construction instead of plastics, it'll be closer to nine or ten but we're aiming to get that down over time i, I could see people just wanting it. they're like they're like jet skis but without the big bulky jet ski right, yeah, you couldn't you're be, feeling like you you're flying you look like you were like f just flying you're you're levitating on the water and the whole it, the whole weight of the package is only about 55 pounds i think or less no kidding so you can i mean once the battery's out i can lug it on my shoulder and carry it up a flight of stairs it's it's, it's a dream for yeah for transportation especially people like small vehicles Yep. You know, you don't need a big car. You could use no, throw it in a little it smart car if you yep. wanted to. <laughs> cool as hell. That is cool. Wow. Let's see if the boss has any. Uh, that is neat, man. How long does it take to charge the battery after it uh, discharges? You can buy. Uh, it comes with a standard charger, and you can buy the higher powered one for an extra few hundred. Uh, two hours or four hours, depending. Oh, no kidding. So you I'll, could be I'll, out at a camp and enjoying your day, and if it dies, two to four hours, you're back on the board again, and you're ripping it, around. Yeah. How long does it last right now? Uh, depends on what you're running at, obviously, depends, right? Depends what motor you've got. What, like we have low and high speed propellers. We have the long mast. We have the long board. If you're plugging, if you're plowing through water, all like I will be today because I can't fly properly, I'll get about an hour. hour I'll get an about an hour, an hour and a half, and if I'm able to fly comfortably. Um, like if, if I was, you know, 120 pounds, close to three hours. That is awesome, man. It's sick. That is awesome. You can update everything over the app. Oh yeah, that's cool too. Yeah, everything's Bluetooth and app connectivity, so you're definitely you're good there. It's already. Oh, that's actually that's fine. That is cool. That is cool. All right, guys. So that's that thing that's not even out available yet. It's kind of cool. Having them show me, tell me about it. Seems a little pricey, but it seems like it'd be a fun toy at the same time. I'm sure it would come down if they got a lot of sales. Could have swore I just had one on there, but those see if he comes back I 
Nah, I think that was just weeds. Yeah. That was just weeds. I just got that same. How the hell did that hook even come out of there? I had the hook buried. There's one. Oh, lost them. <laughs> Might have been a perch too or something. <clears throat> oh, been hit. There we go. Fish on. First fish. Oh yeah. Nice. Very nice. First fishy. So we went to the uh Guggen Crack and Craw. And that ended up getting our first uh, largey here. They're feeding up right on the edge. You can see by this belly how fat that belly is. It's super thick. This fish isn't big by any means. I mean, obviously we've caught bigger. But um, hey, it's the first fish. I'm happy. The skunk's out of the boat. Um, switched over to that Guggen Crack and Craw. And we got our first largey, guys. Just throwing them on like a three odd hook. Uh, I think that's actually too big of a weight, but there's a lot of grass right here. And I just want to get through the down to the bottom. So this is the grass I'm kind of ripping my uh, crack and crawl through. Nice bright, bright green. That's what you want to find. The dead stuff doesn't have any oxygen, so you want to go for the brightest green grass you can find. All right, so this is what I'm using here, guys, in case you haven't really got into them, but crack and craw, it's kind of like a crayfish style. Okeechobee craw, it's called the color. Um, the water is like semi, semi stained. It's about, you can only see about a foot and a half down, maybe. It's got a greenish tint to it. So could probably whip a chatterbait over there too, but there was just so much grass, I got tired of getting caught up into it. So we're just gonna put another one of these, put it right there. Kinda got it, I think it's a half ounce weight. I could probably go lighter, but that's what I got tied on there. So I'm just gonna leave it. Could probably go a little bit lighter, just so it falls a little bit slower. But basically I'm dropping it, there's a grass line. And I know you guys probably hear a lot of people talk about it, but it's kinda just where all the seaweed comes up from the bottom and it's kind of like a wall of it on the edge of it, it's clear i'm casting into that and kind of letting it find its way through and hitting the bottom i can feel it hit the bottom with the heavier weight and then just kind of popping it up and just hopping it off the bottom and these guys are coming over and slurping it up so uh, that just tells me that they're down near the bottom it's only uh like nine ten feet of water over there we get back over here and catch ourselves another one this is cool get this gopro going I want to watch that guy fly around man he's really cruising too he's way over there you guys probably can't really see him but he's he's cruising that thing really hovers he asked me if i want to get on it but a little nervous looks like fun i asked him for his permission and uh he said i could use it so We'll let you guys see what it's all about in the video. All right, we'll get our net ready. There we go. The only thing is that bass stole the stole one of my pinchers, but I'm pretty sure it'll still catch fish, so. 
throw it back out there. I'm not even really sure where I was, but I know that weed line comes up this way. It might be sitting right on the edge of that weed line. Feeding up. I feel for that bottom. I think I got blown right out of my spot, but pretty sure we'll get back in home. So I took the chatterbait, or I was fishing with the chatterbait, fishing with a tube, like a tube craw, and um, nothing. Fish for about an hour, nothing. Finally got our first fish, spent about uh, an hour and 20 minutes now. And it was on that black and blue cracking craw. Water's kinda, kinda stained. You can't really see more than like two feet down. So I figured I'd throw the black and blue on there with the, oh, there's another bite. Right there. Right there, there's another one. Uh, this guy's a little, a little upset he got caught. This is definitely a porker. This is like the second, um, was that second cast after the first one there? So yeah, this is definitely a good choice to go with. We ended up just catching our second one. Black and blue crack and craw. Oh, right near his eye hole. We'll save him here. There we go. It's really in there, so I kind of want to push down with the pliers because I don't want it in his eye, so. Do a little. There we go. And it's out. And he still has his eyeball. There we go. Better, Better quality, quality of a fish. fish. Definitely a thick sauna gun for being so short. Bam, Jack. Cool. Second one, guys. Black and blue crack and crawl. Getting it done. To our buddy over there on the foil board. That one's for you, pal. All right, so we got blown way out of our spot. We got to go. Way back up here and uh yeah the, the only thing about these crack and craws is the durability sucks everybody kind of knows that about Guggen's soft plastics i mean they catch fish they ain't putting them down believe me they catch fish they just don't they don't last long so but they do catch fish i love the smell of them i know they're like super salty obviously the fish like them too we're gonna kind of there's that grass line again that comes up this way not even really using my graph because we're kind of just sitting in a pile of weeds right here is that a fish or is that seaweed that's seaweed and that's more seaweed Ugh. i don't think this crawl is going to take any more much more i'm just going to rip apart down the one claw on it still catching fish but We'll see. See how long it lasts. I'll probably get three fish out of it before I gotta change it up again. Feels like I was swimming, but it's hard to tell with the wind. Do know we're in a pile of weed though. So we got two fish so far. I mean, we had a scout around, didn't graph them. Just kind of tossed over there. First couple nibbles. I actually thought it was like a bluegill or something. Just pecking at the claws. But they ended up swallowing it. So they're here. Power pole if I had one. I wouldn't even reach the bottom. I'm really just thinking about getting that trolley. I had one on my old kayak. A little trolley anchor system. It worked really good. I liked how you can put it to the front and the back. And kind of kind of steer your kayak there's one there's one right there oh my god that's the this one's a nice one i don't think i've ever caught a fish this big out of here i'm not even sure but wow this might be my uh my pb for this lake anyway my pb is a 5.2 you 
This one's a super long one. My God. Wait till I get the, wait till I get the hook out of this guy. He has a long one for sure. I don't know. I think my biggest one in here was like a 3.2 pound or something like that. This is a long one though. That's definitely what you want. You want that length because with that length comes the weight. Super awesome. So happy we got this. I'm going to give it a quick weigh. I'm thinking right around 2.8, maybe a 3. So we're going to give it a quick weigh. It's our third fish on the Guggen uh, Kraken Craw. Black and blue. All right, so we'll zero it out. Give it a quick weigh. I'm thinking right around 2.7 maybe. I gotta clear this out, guys. Sorry about that. My finger accidentally. There we go. 2.51 2.53 so yeah 2.53 guys this is a pretty good one right here take a quick pick let her go that's a good one that's a good one sun's going down guys got about 20 more minutes so we're gonna head over this way all right so we got blown out of our spot but they are kind of still hanging up in this this area here pretty good spot what they're doing is usually when i catch them here they're a little bit out that way more about 15 13 feet of water now they're pushing up right here which is about 10 and 11 feet of water um thought i had another one there but hooked into some grass so they are pushing up a little bit shallower considering the uh water temps are dropping 73 degrees Last time I fished here was like 77 degrees, so that's cool. They're schooled up. They're schooled up because that's three in the same area. Shut my scale off so I don't kill the battery. There we go. Oh, that's a fish. Oh my god. It's in the grass. I think there, it's just a monster. Might be a monster. I thought I had. Oh my god! Oh yeah, just digging. This was a fighter, man. There we go. That was like back-to-back -back cast, I think. I don't know. Pretty close to it. But yeah, here's another one, guys. Fish number four. Oh. We're just gonna keep track for. Video, it's easier, but this is fish number four, crack and craw, right in the top again. I bet these guys are fighters, man. They're digging down that grass, and it makes them feel like they gained like three pounds. But definitely uh, fun to catch. So I'm time. I'm gonna change up this crack and craw because I lost all my claws, as you can see. But yeah, boom. There's another one, guys. It's like fish number four. Kind of coming back to back and it's 457. Alright guys, this is gonna be last cast. But it was a pretty cool day. We only got four. But I think the coolest part of the day besides that was that that foil board there. That thing was pretty awesome. 35 miles an hour just standing up on top of the water. <laughs> 
it's pretty cool hope you guys enjoyed that it's not out available yet but as the guy told me uh he's doing the uh, aerodynamics on it and they're doing they're still doing some testing and working out some glitches but when it's available it's going to be like uh, i think he said five grand or whatever pretty cool something different I'm sure in a few years we'll be seeing them ripping around on the waters right right next to the jet skiers and everything I'm sure they'll get pretty crazy with them hitting the waves and the wakes and jumping them and stuff like that but i know i said last cast but just gonna do another one over this way i see a little bit of action over there but yeah so i mean i did the chatter bait um it was cloudy and windy changed up a color a couple of colors a couple of trailers didn't get anything ended up going over to uh the texas rig the uh, craw tube from big bait bites there and i i didn't get anything on that either and then um tried the wacky rig a little bit didn't get none on that either and then ended up uh switching over to the the crack and craw the okeechobee color there the, it's like a black and blue with the big flakes in it and as soon as i switched over to that we got some really good hits and uh we found that little school of fish you know, it wasn't nothing crazy. It was only like four, three or four. I think it was four of them. And uh, the biggest one not being, you know, a monster, two and a half pounder. But it was still fun to catch. And uh, it just goes to show you, you know, you could fish. And it's, you can just keep fishing in the same spot, not get nothing. But as soon as you pick that one bait that they want, you know, they'll go after it. So, yeah, that's, what, that's all I did. I just figured, out uh, why not try something a little bit slower? Maybe a little bit darker color because the water was a little bit more stained from all the rain we've had the past few days. And that definitely made the color or made the uh, made them fish bite. So we're going to go grab something to eat. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. It would help me out a lot. I'm trying to get this channel a little bit bigger than what it is. Slow and steady wins the race. I get it. I'm very thankful for the 300 plus subscribers I've gotten so far. Haven't been doing this for too long, but uh, you know, I'm, hopefully I can just help you guys out, maybe catch some more fish than what you've been catching or fishing different areas, and you'll see me fishing them and see what works for me. You know, I think every location, every place you live, a little bit something different. I mean, water temps, wind, obviously, water clarity, all that stuff matters. Size of the baits matter, you know. Um, I'm, a, I'm in upstate New York, so water's cooling off. Right now we're down to 73 degrees, so we're definitely hitting that late summer, early fall transition here. And, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll hit a few more spots um, in the next few days. Try to get some more videos out for you guys, um, you know, between work and everything. Guys, got a wedding to plan coming up. My son, our oldest son's getting married to his... Uh, his fiance, he's in the Air Force, so he'll be flying. Uh, he'll be flying up here from Texas. We'll be doing that in uh, mid-October, so that's going to be pretty cool. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy the channel. Please smash that thumbs up if you would. It helps the algorithm out. puts puts the son of a fish out ahead of some of the other guys, and uh, I appreciate that. Till then, see you next time.